everybody, a quick check-in here from ECRI. There's been a lot of interest in our uh, work of late, in particular with the action in not only the stock market, but in particular the bond market. I can tell you that it, it does make sense. As I know there's a lot of questions like what's going on, but it makes sense if you're tracking cycles and growth and inflation and the interaction of the two. Today, I want to share another part of our framework with you that focuses on cycles in Chinese uh, economic growth and inflation. Uh, back in the spring, we made a uh, cycle downturn call, an economic growth cycle downturn call for China. And um, here's a picture of a leading index, uh, one of many leading indexes we have for China. You see a Chinese quick leading index, it's turned down. Uh, and it was even starting to show up in some of the coincident data uh, that we track. It's in line with other indicators that we're watching uh, on uh, proprietary indicators on Chinese uh, growth. So we knew which direction we were looking at. It wasn't about supply chains or anything. It was a cyclical downturn. And then uh, of late, there's been a lot of interest in the property market there. And so I thought I'd share with you our Chinese leading home price index, here you see a, a nice hook down uh, in the growth rate of that leading index, pointing to a downturn, uh, an impending downturn in, in Chinese home price inflation, which was still running up uh, last spring, right? Uh, had that, that for various reasons, Evergrande and other reasons, you know, the wealth effect in China, this is a very important thing to be watching. Uh, and so uh, we do, that's what we do with our clients. We're, we're updating, um, all of this analysis for China, uh, giving it out to our clients tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, uh, be well, and uh, we'll try to do this uh, again sometime. Thank you.